written that find the area enclosed by the curve and you are given two equations. And you know that x and y are related to t. So clearly parametric equations are given. If you are not aware about the parametric equations of ellipse, then is it that you can't solve the question? No, there is nothing to worry. What you will be doing, you will find the value of cos t and you will get cos t as x upon 3. Similarly, sin t will be y upon 2. Now what you can do, we all know that cos square theta plus sine square theta is 1. So what is cos square t plus sine square t? Because whenever we find the area, it is always between y equals an x. Whenever we find the area, it is always of the form y equals to fx or x equals to fy. So using cos square t plus sine square t is equal to 1, we'll eliminate t. And with that, what you can see, it is x square upon 9 plus y square upon 4 is equal to 1. And this is of the type x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. And this is horizontal ellipse. Now, one, one could easily draw the sketch of it. Do not forget to put scale whenever you do that in examination. And the major axis is on the x-axis. A units, this will be 3. So this is 0 to 3, 3 comma 0. And this will be 0 to 2. This will be 0 comma 2. Same way. And now the target is to find the area 0 comma minus 2 and the target is to find the area enclosed by the curve. So since the curve is containing even powers on x and y, so it is symmetric to x axis as well as to the y axis. So what we will be doing, we will find the area of the first quadrant, area enclosed by first quadrant and we will multiply that with 4. So we find that area. The area is 4 times 0 to 3 y dx but since this is not a function you can see that by putting one x component we are getting two outputs so this is not a function so first of all we have to create this in the form of y equals fx so for that And we'll be taking the positive root. So it will be 4 times 0 to 3, the integration of 2 by 3 into under root of 3 square minus x square dx. Now we have to apply this special integration. Special integration of under root of a square minus x square, which you all know it is x upon 2 under root of a square minus x square which is 3 square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse of x upon a which is x by 3 and we are now we putting the limits now when we put the limits it is the upper limit first and then the lower limit This is sine inverse of 1, which is sine pi by 2. And the answer is coming as 6 phi square units. Is there any method with which we can cross verify, we can check the answer? Yes, there is a method. Whenever you have ellipse in the standard form, 
its area is total area enclosed by it is pi AB and here A was 3 and B was 2. So the answer has to be 6 pi square units. So even if you are not aware about parametric forms but by eliminating the parameter you can get the curve and hence you can find the area.